everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So I'm doing another reading here and I thought I'd include you guys in on it, right? Like I usually do. I have had some major brain farts, well just this afternoon because I was really distracted by kind of everything. One kid is off with, with her friends and my other my son is upstairs doing tests on my computer and so like I'm distracted I don't know what got me off track at the end of the last video I was I had a total brain fart and then um, in loading the video I I was distracted because he was talking to me about the test so I didn't put my intro on it's just been a weird day so I'm trying to go like kind of freestyling it okay um, I just want to go with the flow today, all right? <laughs> and I've, I've picked up on some pretty good stories, but, um, you know, this isn't going to resonate with everyone, and it's really literally for any sign out there, especially since it's kind of turned into a flash reading. Um, this reading is not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. It just means that this isn't your particular story. That's it. That's all. If it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel and help it grow. And um, uh, if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. See, that's what I'm talking about. I keep having these little glitches. It's really weird. All right, so anyway, let's get started. I wanted to free flow for at least a day. Um, I don't know. It just, it's, I enjoy it, okay? I enjoy it much more. So anyway, we start the reading here with the, the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who um, is coming to kind of give you, you know, what someone would call a love offer. I I usually have a tendency to call it like some kind of offer of emotion because we don't know if that's love in that cup. The problem with this depiction is that the cup is way down here when they should be holding it in their hand. And this horse is literally trying to trudge its way through a sea of emotion, okay? Um, they're lighting their way here trying to trying to see their trying to wade their way through all of their emotions so that they can get over here pick up the cup and make a love offer okay um or an offer of emotion but you're still dealing with the night they don't have staying power um see the reason why this person is all up in their emotions to the point where they just you know they can't seem to possibly think of making an actual love offer yet because they have to wade through all of this. Your person right now is seemingly loyal to somebody who they can't trust. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And that needs to stop. They need to stop being loyal to the wrong people in order to be able to feel safe to love. Okay, I think that's what this is. This person can't possibly feel safe to love because they've been loyal to somebody who cannot be trusted and they can't find a way to stop doing that. Do you know what I mean? They can't find a way to stop being loyal to this person, but it's got to stop in order for them to have this new beginning in love here, okay? Um, yeah, so this person, they want to at least try to come in and, I guess, warm things up with some flirtatious conversation I want to say this is he they're coming to you in just a page energy though this is just a page and that when I say that I mean this is really immature energy um, you know bopping around doing a little freaking song and dance being all flirty and playful and you know deep down inside this person is holding on to some pretty dark energy. I mean, when you look at the look on this kid's face, the person behind him is smiling because they can't see the look on this kid's face. It's sad. This to me is a, a kid who has seen too much, been through too much, knows too much. 
and and they don't know how to talk about it so instead this person dances around it and plays games around it like you know I don't know maybe this person has some childhood trauma issues or something and but they just kind of dance around it like all playfully and flirty and you know they don't actually stand up tall and straight you know what I mean with confidence I don't feel like this person is confident I feel like it's kind of a show you know they they usually say that comedians are the most you know are the people who are in the most pain right because they they compensate their pain with their comedy you know what I mean it's kinda of like that this person's all flirty and playful and acting all young and immature when deep down inside they're really wounded you know it's kinda of sad when I look at that kid you know um, let's get some clear some more clarifiers though I didn't think I would have to but I kinda of just want to all right, clarify this kid here. What's with the kid and the page of wands? Yeah, this is a person who, um, you know, they're going to play around and stuff because they have a lot to, actually, it's not really that they're hiding anything. It's that they don't want to face everything. I guess that's a good way to say it. They're not really hiding anything. They just don't want to face everything. You see what I'm saying? all the things that they have done in the past that have built like a fence behind them okay the ghosts from their past are coming out to haunt them they need to turn around and confront all of this stuff and 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 see the the consequences of their actions but this person doesn't really want to they don't want to look at it they'd rather schmooze it over they'd rather play their way through it do you see what i'm saying but through all of this, I still really feel like there's a, there's just like a hurt little kid in there somewhere. Not like, I mean, there could be children that, you know, you could have children mixed in with this too, but I mean, I feel like this is the child within right now, within a man who doesn't want to face the consequences of his actions and wants to schmooze them over instead and act like I don't know a goofball I don't know that's what I would say act like a goofball yeah um and then we've got a third party situation here perhaps but what it looks like is this th it looks like the third party situation this is the three of swords looks like the third party situations and the patterns that go along with that there's patterns all in this picture um like that situation has you know created a chaotic mess right that's what it appears to be it looks like this room the wind came in and blew and tossed everything around in this chaotic mess of a third party situation but that's not it no no that's not it if you take a really good look what's the point I see what I see in this photo is that bolt of lightning right there and this explosion and then the wind because that's not wind that's aftershock from the explosion of the tower that the divine brings down you know because of this third party situation now this person is going to be facing a tower moment here shortly and I feel like there are patterns going along with this person that they really need to take a look at because that's what's causing all of this chaos. These patterns, like I said, could stem from childhood trauma, things that they haven't healed, things that they don't talk to any of anybody about. Look at the look. Okay. And I, those are patterns here. There's something about it, something about their behavior. I feel like this person's going to come in, though, with this page playful crap, not being honest with you, not wanting to uh, even accept any responsibility for, for the, the hurt that they've caused in the past. And I feel very much that, um, you know, they've had this, this player mentality, the player kind of behavior where they ride in super fast 
and they use that wand as a male phallic and they ride back out again and they just they don't have staying power they're very impulsive they're passionate and they think with that wand if you know what I mean and that's that's part of this third party situation it just creates a mess and now their towers coming down because their life has been in like a crappy hotel bathroom that is m most likely looks like a crime scene and they haven't they need to clean everything out and I mean everything they need to get rid of whatever it is that's the, either these old patterns old behaviors um, whoever it is that they've been with that makes them behave in this way I don't know what you name it it could be anything for your person but they need to clean out their life right now to the point where there's literally not a speck left you know I feel like this person needs to balance some scales to bring justice to a situation probably a lot of them I see at least three ghosts returning here for this from this person's past you know, I'm sure there's a lot of things that they need to make right. This person could be going through um, a court case here as well. You could be dealing with a Libra. But yeah, I feel like this is a person who doesn't doesn't want to take a look at their at their actions. They're just not. They don't want to be held accountable. They don't want to be held accountable. And only though, only because of the fears or whatever they are that they're carrying from past, past trauma. I'm telling you, this person either had something happen to them as a child or something's going on internally there that they're not telling people about and it's kind of making them suffer a little bit, okay? Yeah, it's making them suffer. They're in pain. I think they're hiding that pain and I think they're glossing over it with playful song and dance. Seriously. I think they're trying their best to hide the pain here because they know that there's a painful ending. You could be dealing with a Virgo, um, but they're going within right now to try to figure out what, to, what steps to take next. This is somebody kind of going within and logically trying to get control over this pain is what it is. They're logically trying to get control over the pain because, you know, I think whatever is bothering them or has been bothering them since childhood look at however it is resonates with you I think this this is the thing that holds them back you know I think it makes them feel very uneasy to be in any kind of trouble I think it feel it makes them feel very uneasy and uncomfortable with confrontation I think deep down inside this person may have some self-esteem issues because of something, something. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's something. You know, so even though this person is in pain, they, they're, they, instead of coming and trying to make things right and clean things out, they go within. They go within. And that's their lot to think about everything logically and that's their way of kind of making the pain feel better they can deal with the pain better that way is what I'm hearing feeling whatever in your central focus though you're bringing down their tower you know if this person was thinking about um, using that wand as a male phallic here in order to be intimate before because I always see this tower here as the male phallic because it's, you know, you're blowing it up just because you're an empress, meaning you're not going to waste your time. You're not going to play any games. Um, you are self-sufficient and independent, and that means you don't need anyone. Um, you're every queen in the deck, so you've got all the attributes that anyone could possibly want and more and uh, you're successful 
you're intuitive and you're connected with the divine and you're beautiful you don't need this person and they now they're seeing that and that's what's bringing down their tower this is like the same yeah i'm seeing it the same way as their ego i'm seeing it the same way as their ego it's almost like a final blow to their ego okay and you're making this decision i feel like this is a choice that you're making person watching um, because you have the answers and you're, you may even be your own business owner or something. You're very abundant. You've got nine pentacles here and the most you can have is ten, right? You're blowing this person away, seriously. But see, they've put no effort in. See that little tiny word effort there? Look at the size. It's a freaking gym and they put that on a wall? No. There's been no effort here put in, or very, very little. Okay, you really haven't seen anything. What's the freaking point? That's what this is. Effort. What's the freaking point of even painting that on this giant wall in a gym? Are you kidding? So you're walking. You're like, I'm outie. I'm closing the book on this. This is a closed book. That's in your central focus. That is your central focus. And I feel like your person, it's just, it's, you know, they're going through a very painful ending right now. But part of them is, part of them is a man in pain. Part of them is indecisive. Part of them is a hurt and wounded child. And part of them is a punk that really doesn't want to, um, they don't want to face up to all the hurt and crap that they caused. Okay? You got four parts to this person, really. All right. What else can you show us here for this story? I mean, I hope this resonates with someone, but that's what I'm seeing. And they need to clean up their act. They need to clean up their act because right now they, their mess and their decisions have gotten it to the point where their life looks like it's in a cheap hotel room bathroom okay that could be a possible crime scene all right and that's where that's where their decisions have led them and holding on to this stuff this hurt from the past and acting like a punk instead of you know standing up like a man and accepting responsibility for the things that you do wrong I mean how many different ways can you describe to someone how to do the right freaking thing all right what else can you show me thank you yeah this person can't sleep at night you know they're, they're not getting any sleep they're tossing and turning and that's that's at best you know, this is laying on, on a bed of sword tips, okay? They're like impaling themselves at night just thinking about all this stuff. I feel like this person is very guilty. I feel like they're trying to figure it out. I feel like they want things to improve, but there's so many things holding them back. And the biggest thing holding them back is themselves. Because they need to heal from childhood stuff and they need to face the things that they've done to people in the past and they need to put forth more effort than this crap into cleaning up their own world and their own life. They are their own biggest issue they're their own because they try to dance around song and dance around all of this crap. They are their own biggest issue. All right, what else can you show me over here, please? Well, this was more intense than what I was actually hoping for. I feel like this person is going to communicate with you. The one who walked away, I, I pulled the cards and yeah, the one who walked away, person watching, 
if you walked away from this person because they're putting in no effort they're not showing you anything and they seem to be just kind of not being able to figure things out right now this is yours that I feel like this person is gonna be communicating with you here very soon the central focus is like now time right now time so this would be like soon soon okay so I feel like someone's getting communication from this person soon but I feel like you're gonna be very much on the defensive okay I feel like you could um, even kind of deflect <laughs> like deflect their advances deflect their communication because this I'm seeing this coming online you know these are messages text messages messenger that kind of thing emails whatever I don't see face-to-face -face contact yet um, but I see you being very defensive and kind of like getting ready for it do you know what I mean getting ready for that hit but getting ready to deflect, I'm telling you. Um, clarify this Seven of Wands for me, please. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands. That's too many. Yeah, you could be doing a fire sign. Fire sign, fire sign. There's that little page of wands there. He might be, um, be a, he's right now in the king energy. He's advanced enough to be able to have a more grown up conversation with you than dancing their little song and dance routine, whatever the heck they were trying to practice over here. You know, doesn't it look like it's like, you know, what does he want to have a dance off to warm things up? You know what I mean? There's things that this person needs to heal from and confront. I'm sorry, but yeah, you're. I think you're gonna be like, look, the, there's a new cycle here. I, I got. I have to enter into this new cycle the right way. It's about entering into a new cycle the correct way. You know, even if you wanted to start something with this person, let's say you do. But they come to you like this, a mess, and not willing to not willing to accept any responsibility for it. That person hasn't had any spiritual growth, and they need time to heal, and they need time to clean up their junk, okay? And because of that, especially for an empress, that person wouldn't be, this person isn't meeting your energy, empress. All you've done is work on yourself. This person doesn't even want to look at themselves. Okay, so basically you're on the defense of saying, look, man, if you can't match me in my energy, if you can't work on yourself, if you don't even want to look at yourself, I, I have to, you have to understand, I need to enter into the new cycle the correct way. I can't enter into this new cycle trying to put a band-aid on all the boo-boos that you, you know, keep making for yourself. I'm not healing you. You have to heal yourself, right? So you're like, go, heal yourself. That's, I think that's what you're trying to say here. You're still closing the book on this from what I see. Um, clarify this Nine of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Please for a person watching. Yeah, I don't know, my mind just like, this afternoon it was just like, and then I had to go and take my daughter into town and ugh, it, it, I mean, I love my kids and everything. I, I don't mean it like that, it's just that I got to the point, I guess, where I was so distracted. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, yeah, you could be dealing with the Virgo now. This Virgo could have had some kind of commitment going on they could even still because they're still wandering around it's almost like look it's vacant there it's turned cold the you know here comes a tower moment or two maybe right and this person's on the outside of the building that tells me that 
perhaps this person was committed or is still committed, but this commitment is pretty much vacant at this point. Like, it's pretty much done. It's cold. It looks like it's it's been abandoned, okay? So this person, stay, he's like outside walking along this path. The only reason why I say you could be dealing with the Virgo is because even though this is the Five of Pentacles being out in the cold, right? Um, it's still, he's wearing the same outfit as the hermit and carrying the same lantern as the hermit. So either he beat up the real hermit and stole all his clothes and the lantern and left the hermit, you know, laying in the snow, freezing to death, or this could be the hermit. So that's why I say Virgo. Um, but yeah, I feel like during this long path here, it's been a long time. This person's in total coldness with you and with whoever they were in a commitment with. I feel like everything's turned cold. And I feel like all people have left this freaking building. Look at how vacant it looks, just empty. Um, if not, there's no love there, there's no warmth there. Okay, and this person probably feels very alone and haunted inside this building. Okay? But yeah, they, they wander down this long path trying to figure out a way to come back in from being out in the cold. That's what's keeping them up at night trying to figure this out but you're closing the book on it you're like if you're not accepting responsibility you can walk around that building as much as you want but you you know there is no dumpster on the outside of the building on the premises to pitch all of your all of your baggage and stuff into before you come to me you have to confront it you've got to bring your baggage and sh toss it in front of me and explain and confront it and they're trying to figure out a way around that. You know what I mean? They don't want to do that because of what happened to them when they were a kid. I feel like it really squashed their self-esteem. I feel like they're fearful of confrontation. You know, maybe something happened to them where they tried to tell people and like nobody believed them. Or maybe people teased them. Or I don't know. This this kid here this kid here has something inside their mind that they are unable to talk to somebody about really. And it just burns them alive from the inside out on the daily. Okay? And I think that that is this is the root of all of this okay i think that is why this person is afraid to confront the things that they've done i think that's the reason why they keep making these kind of mistakes i think that why is why this person's in pain i think that is why they're losing their empress and i think that is why their life is in a cheap hotel bathroom and they're out in the cold. It all stems from that. Okay, there's a child inside this man. Okay, there's a, a hurt child inside this man somewhere. Whoever this is. Um, okay, I'm going to pull a couple more cards and then we'll get some advice, okay? Alright, what can you show me here? What else can you tell us for the collective? And these are just random freestyle readings, okay? They're not, I'm not like targeting any kind of anything. It's just freestyle. So it's not going to resonate with everyone, okay? And that's okay. Um, this is somebody from your past. Someone, they may even be younger than you a bit. Um, somebody who feels like home, like your home. You know what I mean? You feel like home to this person. You probably had all of these cups pre-filled and ready to go every day. And any time this person came to you and said, I really need some love, you were always there. You were always there with a pre-filled cup of love just for them. You know, you weren't judgmental. You didn't ask any questions really, you know. 
You didn't judge this person. You weren't, you were warm. You were inviting, you were caring, you were kind, nurturing, giving, loving, warm. And they can't stop thinking about it. This is feelings of nostalgia. So they keep going over and over these memories about you in their mind, like all the time. Okay. So your person's going to be feeling very nostalgic wanting that feeling back from you again because see they're out in the cold you're warm while they're walking around while they're walking around out in the cold thinking about you they're thinking about you to keep warm they're out in the cold thinking about you and that's their only warm thought right now our thoughts of you person watching Yeah, I feel like your person had a decision to make, but they may have taken too long. This is stagnancy. This is also a stalemate. You and this person from your past probably are not talking out in the cold, out in the cold, because they were loyal to the wrong person. Um, they need to make a decision one way or another. I feel like they're loyal to, to one, thinking about you and loving you and not putting forth any effort and you're just you're finally like I'm done I have to enter into this cycle the right way for me dude don't you understand that's what you're saying here yeah all right what else can you show me here for the people thank you yeah they're gonna be watching you though this person's going to be watching you in a stalemate with still a decision to make. Non-stop thinking about you, non-stop loving you, non-stop watching you, but not saying a freaking thing. And in page energy, that's immature energy, okay, holding back communication. This is creepy McCreeperson, all he does is watch. But the reason why they're not saying anything, once again, this card peeks out from underneath this like a little shy kid. Because there's a little kid in there that's wounded. You know, this person could be a grown man, okay? He could be a grown man. He could make people want to see him as a grown man, all cool, all fly, right? He's like Joe Cool in this picture, all great and everything. But really, really the correct way to look at this person is a wounded, like, seven or eight year old kid. Yeah, because really every day for them, they're still living in that time because they haven't let go of whatever it is that hurt them in that time. So they're still kind of, kind of walking around in that hurt eight-year-old mentality okay right where they were when it happened they're stuck there because they haven't been able to communicate it properly to people and 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 then people aren't properly able to help them so like they don't know how to get out of this point in time where they were where they got hurt and it's 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 grown with them that child is still in there somewhere and now it's, it's, it's taken away their ability to be strong and courageous and take responsibility for the things that they've done in the past. This has taken away their ability to be strong and courageous. This moment, back when they were 8, back when they were 12, back when they were 14, however old they were, doesn't matter. This grown man really actually inside is that person that they were back then because they haven't been able to heal and move on from it. Do you see what I mean? Am I just... Okay. All right, you know what? I don't know if I'm making any sense to anyone, so I'm going to get some advice, okay? Let's get some advice on it, Divine. I do hope this resonates with someone, though. 
because that really is truly what I'm feeling. Yeah, I keep seeing the movie big. If I can just explain it to you one more time, please. Just stick with me. Have, has anybody ever seen the movie Big with Tom Hanks? And in Big, he's a grown man, okay? Or no, that's right. In Big, he's a little kid. He's a little kid, and he plays the Zoltar or whatever, and he turns into a, a man, a full-size man. But if it was reversed, okay, like at the end when he changes back, and you see him as a man, and then the next time you see him, he's a kid, with these giant clothes on that are hanging off of him and he's trying to walk and that's what I'm seeing that it's that's literally the image that I'm seeing okay this is what they do they put these images in my head okay so literally that's what I'm seeing when you look at this man a grown man remember that they're that they're actually that kid in that time when they got hurt because they were never able to heal from it. Okay, that's, I don't know how else to say it. So I'm just gonna pull some advice before you guys think I'm a whack job here. Um, okay, higher power. I feel like there's a higher power here trying to guide this person, I really do. And you already know, person watching, that there's a higher power for you. I feel like you've come a long way because of the divine, okay? But the divine's hand is in here trying to work with your person as well. Um, just know that this is about divine timing. Right now, your person's half in, half out, okay? They're half in, meaning they want to step into a new future. Um, but they're half out because the tail end is still in the past. Remember, they have not healed from those past wounds. They can't, they can't fully come into the new cycle correctly, right? You have to enter in the right way, and they can't yet. They have to heal. They have to figure out what problem this is. No one can do that for them realization of what it is is the first step but they've got to do that step on their own and only the divine can help them and believe me the divine is already there okay what else advice advice for this person who oh, this one's wiping me out um This is something they need to conquer on their own with the divine, okay? You cannot heal this. They need to find a way to make that at least a start. The first start would be to know that it's not their fault, I guess. Um, yeah, as for you, your all that glitters is coming for you, person watching. Your advice is to pay attention to yourself. Okay, their advice is to let the divine help them. Your advice is to pay attention to you. Because, you know, your this is all faded. And this is the time for the divine feminines to put work into themselves and re remember who they are and how far they've come. And I, I think that most of us do. And because of all of that and the work we've put into ourselves and the fact that we've been manifesting our abundance, it's coming. It's coming in. Just know that. Know that all of this is faded, okay? And what's meant to be for you is going to come to you okay especially if the, it was something possibly even from your past even maybe this person what's meant for you the what's faded for you with an eight here can come back around to you okay you just have to focus on you and glow and raise your vibrations up high um mass are coming off take yours off too and just be yourself show that natural glow that you've got manifest your dreams and your wishes it's all coming to you okay it's all coming to you but this person's healing they need to concentrate on their healing themselves and the divine is helping them with that 
you do you okay all right that's what i got i hope that resonated with somebody oh boy um yeah it was intense if it resonated with you please click that like button and subscribe to my channel and help it grow good luck with all of this guys um and until next time take care of you and peace out